Welcome to the Best Practices series, where we provide quick, actionable tips to help you maximize your testing efficiency with CASE. In this video, we'll look at how to create effective test cases and how a test management platform can help. Effective test cases are crucial for software's quality. By systematically testing different facets of an application, we ensure that the software aligns seamlessly with customer expectations, fostering higher satisfaction. Test cases help in uncovering defects in the software. You can identify issues such as functionality errors, performance issues, and security vulnerabilities. Test cases help in validating that the software meets the specified requirements and performs as expected. This is essential for delivering a reliable and high-quality product to the end users. The earlier issues are identified in the development process, the easier and less expensive they are to fix. Writing test cases allows for early detection of issues, reducing the likelihood of critical defects reaching production. Thoroughly tested software is less prone to failures and errors in a production environment. As software evolves, it's crucial to ensure that existing functionalities remain intact. Test cases act as a baseline for regression testing, providing reassurance that new changes do not disrupt previously working parts of the application. They foster collaboration by defining criteria for successful implementation, creating a common ground for communication among different teams involved in the development process, ensuring a shared understanding of the software requirements. In the realm of agile and iterative development, effective test cases support the iterative nature of development, enabling quick validation of new features while maintaining the stability of existing functionality. Test cases serve as a feedback mechanism for developers, helping them understand how their code performs under different conditions. This feedback loop between testers and developers is crucial for iterative improvements in the software. Effective test cases ensure comprehensive test coverage. Testers should design test cases to cover various scenarios, including edge cases and potential error conditions, leaving no stone unturned. Test cases play a pivotal role in performance benchmarking, evaluating the software's performance under different conditions, identifying bottlenecks, and optimizing system performance. Testing from a user perspective is paramount. Test cases assess usability, accessibility, and overall satisfaction, ensuring a positive user experience. Security-focused test cases help identify vulnerabilities, potential breaches, and weaknesses in the system's defenses, especially crucial for applications dealing with sensitive data. Effective test cases are well-documented cases and serve as a valuable resource for future development and maintenance, providing clarity on how the software is intended to function. In this era of automated testing and CICD, well-defined test cases are essential for implementation, increasing efficiency, reducing human error, and enabling frequent test execution. Effective test cases ensure code changes can be automatically tested and integrated, paving the way for faster and more reliable software delivery. For maintaining traceability and accountability, test cases provide a clear link between requirements and implementation. This ensures accountability and validates that each requirement has been addressed and tested. Test management platforms are designed to handle the increasing complexity of test cases as your projects grow. They offer flexibility for various testing methodologies, making them ideal for agile, waterfall, or hybrid approaches. The advantages are many. Let's explore a few of them. A test management platform provides a centralized repository ensuring everyone works with the latest and most accurate test cases. This reduces discrepancies and confusion. Collaboration and communication. These platforms facilitate collaboration among team members, enhancing communication and transparency in the testing process. For better organization, documentation, and to facilitate audit, test management platforms often include a version control feature, aiding in auditing and providing insights into the evolution of test cases. 
These tools also enable traceability between test cases and requirements, ensuring comprehensive test coverage. Test Execution Planning and Scheduling Test management platforms help plan and schedule test cycles, ensuring organization and coordination during the testing phases. Many platforms integrate with execution frameworks, streamlining the testing process and generating comprehensive reports for stakeholders. Integration with automation tools and issue trackers. For teams using automated testing, these platforms seamlessly integrate with popular tools, providing a unified environment for both manual and automated testing. Now that we have explored the why, let's discuss how you can get started with effective test case creation. A comprehensive understanding of the software features enables you to write more effective and targeted test cases. Effective test case design starts with a solid comprehension of the system under test and its intended behavior. Begin by thoroughly reviewing the requirements documentation, understand both functional and non-functional requirements, noting any constraints or dependencies. Schedule meetings with stakeholders to gain insights into intended user behavior and expectations from the software. If available, review prototypes or design documents for a visual understanding of component interactions. Analyze use cases to understand how end users will interact with the system. Identify various scenarios and workflows. Create a mind map view to visually represent features and relationships, identifying potential areas of complexity or integration. Break down the system into smaller functional components, creating focused test cases for each component. Perform exploratory testing for hands-on experience, identifying unexpected behaviors and nuances. Develop domain knowledge related to the application or industry for effective testing. Conduct risk analysis to identify high-risk areas prone to defects or with a higher impact on the system. Collaborate with developers during early stages, gaining insights into architecture and design choices. You can review documentation of the product for additional context and details about the features, also gather feedback and lessons from the previous releases guiding your testing strategy. It is also important to familiarize yourself with the specific tools or technologies integral to the testing process. Based on your understanding, create a high-level test case scenario as a foundation for detailed test case creation. Lastly, always seek clarification through questions to ensure a complete understanding of the features. Now let's look at some best practices to help you write effective test cases. Create a standardized template for your test cases. This will ensure consistency in formatting for easy readability. Include fields such as test case ID, test case description, test steps, expected results, actual results, and status, or anything that suits your project. Write clear and concise test case steps. Each test case should focus on testing a specific functionality or a scenario. Avoid ambiguity to make it easy for others to understand and execute the tests. Clearly, state any preconditions or assumptions necessary for the test case to execute successfully. This will help set up the test environment properly. For example, test case names should be descriptive and be able to provide a clear understanding of the test's purpose. A concise name will help testers, developers, and other stakeholders quickly grasp the essence of the test. For example, instead of saying login test, you could say test if the user is able to log in with valid credentials. Here, by clearly specifying the outcome of the test case, you will make it easy to understand the test's purpose and expected result. Test one thing at a time. Each test case should focus on testing a specific functionality or a scenario. This will make it easy to identify the root cause of the issues when they arise. Ensure the test cases remain clear, easy to execute, and directly aligned with a particular aspect of the system. For instance, instead of saying shopping cart flow, you could say adding a product to the shopping cart or updating quantity in the shopping cart. Focusing on specific details without combining multiple actions will ensure that the case remains dedicated to the testing of the add to cart feature. Use descriptive names for test cases. Give meaningful and descriptive names to your test cases for easy understanding. This way, you don't have to read through the entire test just to understand what it is about. For example, instead of saying login test, you could say 
Verify if the user can log in with valid credentials. Prioritize test cases. Prioritize test cases based on criticality and impact on the system. This will ensure that the high priority test cases are executed first. Test both positive and negative scenarios. Include both scenarios to validate expected behavior and error handling. Positive scenarios validate that the system works as expected, while negative scenarios test how the system handles unexpected inputs or errors. For instance, a positive example would be, verify that the system displays a confirmation message on successful form submission. And for the negative, verify that the system shows an error message for invalid input in the form. Data-driven testing. Use data-driven testing with different input sets to ensure that the system behaves properly under various conditions. Clearly define and document the test data used in each test case. This includes specifying inputs, expected outputs, and any preconditions. This will ensure repeatability and consistency in test execution. Let's take an example. Avoid hard coding values. Avoiding hard coding will make easier modification and maintenance of the test cases. Instead of creating separate test cases for different browsers, you can use variables like parameters in test cases to ensure that you can easily modify and maintain test cases in the future. Review and validate. Have your test cases reviewed by your peers to ensure accuracy and completeness. Validation is crucial to catch any potential issues before executing the tests. Update test cases regularly. Test cases should be dynamic and regularly updated to adapt to the changes in the requirement of the software. If a test case identifies a defect, log it. Automation considerations. Consider the automation principles such as reusability, maintainability, and scalability. When planning automation, be mindful and refrain from creating test cases that require unrealistic resources. For instance, creating complex test cases that are difficult to automate. Instead, create modular test cases that can be easily automated. Evaluate whether the test cases are structured in a way that allows for easy automation, such as modular design, clear steps that can translate it into automation scripts, checklists, or detailed test cases. Writing detailed test cases offers several advantages in the software testing process. It will provide more structure and a thorough approach to ensure quality. Here are some key reasons to make a case for detailed test cases, comprehensive coverage. Detailed test cases enable more than comprehensive coverage, including both common and edge cases. By explicitly outlining input values, steps, and expected outcomes, detailed test cases help ensure that a wide range of testing conditions are accounted for. Reproducibility. They enhance reproducibility by providing precise instructions that can be consistently followed by different testers, especially in situations involving multiple team members. When the testing needs to be repeated across different phases of development, it is important that there are clear instructions for good reproducibility. Automation compatibility. Automation tools often require detailed and well-structured test cases to function effectively. Writing detailed test cases facilitate automation of repetitive and time-consuming test scenarios, leading to increased efficiency and faster execution. Traceability. Detailed test cases contribute to better traceability by establishing clear links between requirements, test cases, and defects. This traceability aids in understanding the impact of changes validating if requirements are met, and helps track the status of testing activities. To facilitate collaboration, detailed test cases serve as comprehensive documentation that can be shared among team members, including developers, testers, and other stakeholders. This documentation facilitates communication, collaboration, and understanding of testing expectations, making it easier for team members to work together cohesively. Unambiguous communication. Well-documented test cases reduce ambiguity and ensure that testing objectives are clearly communicated. Testers can convey precise information about the steps to be executed, expected outcomes, and any specific conditions or data requirements. 
early detection of defects. The detailed nature of test cases allows for the early detection of defects during the testing phase. Testers can identify and report issues with specific steps, making it easier for developers to understand, reproduce, and fix the problem. To support regression testing. Finally, detailed test cases are essential for effective regression testing, ensuring that existing functionalities remain intact after new changes and features have been introduced. Testers can rerun specific test cases to verify that modifications made to the software do not negatively impact previously tested aspects of the software. In conclusion, creating detailed test cases is crucial for ensuring the quality, efficiency, and effectiveness of the software testing process. Whether you're a seasoned tester or just starting, adhering to these principles will undoubtedly help elevate your software testing journey.